I was expecting to do this at the end. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much, Marjorie. You always inspire me. You're who I want to be when I grow up. As I look around at all the warriors for life in this room, I am so gratified by the opportunity to present Congresswoman Michelle Bachman with the inaugural Marilyn Musgrave Defender of Life Award. I know you are all very well aware of Congresswoman Musgrave's battles for life, strong families, and time-tested principles and values. No one is more deserving of this award than Michelle Bachman. We watched this woman in awe during the presidential debates. She fought from a position of strength, conviction, and grace. She is America at its best. Knowledge, intelligence, and deep love of her country and its constitution emanated from her during the debates. Let me tell you a few things about Michelle Bachman. Next January, the House will be losing one of its greatest defenders of life as Congresswoman Bachman retires after eight years of serving the 6th District of Minnesota. Representative Bachman has always been willing to fight on the front lines of protecting unborn babies on Capitol Hill. She helped lead the fight to end taxpayer funding for abortion and to defund Planned Parenthood. Could we have a applause? Thank you. And introduced the Heartbeat Informed Consent Act. More recently, she was instrumental behind the scenes and politically, in polit and politically speaking out to advance the historic pain-capable Unborn Child Protection Act. When it came to the vote on the landmark legislation protecting unborn babies beginning at 20 weeks, she joined with the Pro-Life Women's Caucus on the House floor and impassionately defended unborn babies who can feel excruciating pain. She never... <laughs> She never backs down on the issue of protecting unborn life, speaking out with poise, intelligence, and most importantly, with love and compassion. Representative Bachman takes the pro-life mission to heart and back to her home. She's the mother of five children and foster mother to 23 and a vocal advocate for adoption. But what has she taught us? I'm going to horrify Marjorie and Marilyn and probably Michelle if she were here and say that one of the things that Representative Bachman has taught me is that you don't bring a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> In defending life, we are warriors. And if others are going to attack us with words, including war and women, in the same sentence, we must prepare for battle. Our battle is the war for life and women and children. Our war calls for strength, endurance, and grace, all of which were embo are embodied in Representative Bachman. She is not afraid, she has taken the hits, and she has not flinched. We who are pro-life have to fight as hard as we can. I hope that it will be done, as Representative Bachman has done it, with grace. But I have to say, when challenged by the worn out phrase, war on women, we will no longer bring a knife to that fight. We will fight back, we will push back, we will be well armed. We will, sh <laughs> we will show America what the other side really stands for and how ugly that vision is. Following Representative Bachman's example, we will be warriors. Some of, the, some of us are sad to see Representative Bachman leave Congress. I am not because I believe the Lord has plans for her. Her work for life is just beginning. As she said, I'm not going away. Whatever she does next, you can be sure it will be for life and for her country. 
We thank you, Michelle Bachman, for fighting like the warrior, warrior you are for what you believe in. We are so very grateful for your many years of heroic, pro-life leadership in Congress, and we are excited to hear what comes next. <laughs>